water signs, uh, Cancer, uh, Pisces, and Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in for this weekly message. Please take whatever resonates and leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general mess message, not a personal. If you would like a personal, that information is listed in the description of this video along with so much more other information. For those who are new to the channel, I am a clairvoyant psychic medium. There's so much proof out there. You can look into past live videos here in YouTube or in Facebook. Also look into reviews for the proof, the truth, and accuracy within my readings. I do not use any cards or any tools when it comes to your personal readings um, or live readings as shown in the live readings here. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out and just know that energy is fluent. So this could be past, present, or future. Take whatever resonates, leave the rest. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start with Cancer. All right, Cancer. Let's see what's going on. Spirit, please assist me in this message for Cancer. The higher angels of divine love, please show me a message for Cancer. 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 Alright. Please show us a message for Cancer. Cancer. Alright. Mercury retrograde. Electronic issue. Communication issue. Review everything. All right, so this could be a situation where you're thinking about the past, reminiscing about the past, or the past reaching out, or you reaching out to the past. Something about the past. Someone is not letting go of the past. Okay. <laughs> Show us a message for cancer. What else, dude? All right, intimate, sexual, chemistry, reminiscing. Okay, that's what it is. Someone is uh, reminiscing about the past, sexual connection. Show us more for cancer. So this could be about um, the past sexual chemistry between you and someone that you're currently with or that you were with, that you were with. Show us a message for cancer. Any other messages for it? Annie? Any of the messages for cancer? Please show us. Cancer? Cancer. Dang, Cancer. Any other messages for Cancer, Spirit? Please show us. Show us a message for Cancer. Cancer, we have Guardian. All right. So we have Guardian. A lost loved one watches over you, Cancer. All right. Ooh. And we have Narcissist. Someone is too full of themselves. Okay, so we have a Narcissist here. What in the heck y'all got going on here? Let's tap into this message. Alright, Spirit, please show us a message for Cancer. Cancer. Pertaining to this energy. Cancer. Mm, someone too full of themselves. Someone is like, oh, I can't. If I had you once, I'd have you again. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Show us a message for Cancer Spirit. Cancer. All right, we have the Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, so a union, it could be in disarray. Like, a, or someone could be losing a home or their foundation or a marriage. All right, show us more on the Four of Wands. Or show us just more for Cancer. Or someone is feeling like, dang, without this situation or without, the, like, the house is not, it's not a home. Someone don't feel at home anymore. Show us a message. Um, that's too much. Someone don't feel at home anymore. Show us more. Or, okay. Due to a commitment. The Hierophant and the Four of Wands here. This is definitely like a marriage, a commitment. Maybe um, something that you thought that would be long term or or forever is not or something is being released from your foundation where it's taken away from you feeling at home, okay? All right, show us more. Show us more for cancer. 
like you feel like someone or something is just taking a movie. Oh, wow. Okay, we have the re renewal in reverse. Okay, we have the hangman, judgment in reverse. Hangman in reverse, judgment in reverse, ten of swords in the world. Definitely a double ending here. It's done. All right, someone needs to surrender here to something not coming back together okay the renew the judgment is in reverse no renewal no second chance here there's an ending ten of swords to the world something is done all right god has spoken on this with this higher offense someone needs to learn a lesson here whether this is you or someone in your energy okay um let's see more show us more sir for cancer cancer Two of Wands. Yes, yeah, time for a new journey, a new path. Someone been down this road, this path for way too long. It's time for something new. It's time for a new journey, a new path, a new direction. Um, this could be a place of employment or a home. Okay, it's time for something new. Someone was trying to hold on to it, or you know, not wanting to let go. But it's time to let go. It's time to surrender to the divine. Show us more. Mm, this could be, oh, show me more. Ooh, we, but someone is refusing to move forward. Someone is refusing to let go of the chariot in reverse. Someone is feeling stuck, okay? But I feel like you're feeling stuck because you're not allowing yourself to ascend. You're not allowing yourself to move forward. You're staying in this repetitive energy, um, or this person is. Someone could be dealing with a Taurus or a Pisces. Um, there's definitely an ending here. And someone is, is refusing to let go. Show us more on this energy spirit for Cancer. Seven of Swords. Mm -mm -mm. So it's like someone is still want to be this tricker. This tricker want to play in this trickery energy. Someone is going to be, someone is going to be forced to stop, forced to sit down, forced to stop, forced to sit down. <laughs> like for real, this is what's happening. Seven of Swords, show us more or someone is playing tricks on you. It could be a cancer. Some of you could be dealing with another cancer or a Taurus or a Pisces. Someone is playing tricks on you. Or are you playing, you're the, you're the trickster. Hmm. Okay, show us more. Um, oh, yeah, something is being blocked here. So, if this is you playing the games and tricks or whatever, is you're being blocked, or someone doing this to you is being blocked or stopped in their in their tracks. Show us a message for cancer. So that's why the Ten of Swords is here with the world. Something must end. Someone must surrender. If you don't, ooh, it's, a, it's not a good outcome. God is speaking. Your angels is even speaking. A guardian angel is speaking to you like, hey, I need you. Listen, God send me. Look, I'm trying to wake you up before it's too late. Something is happening here. But someone is like, I ain't trying to hear that. I'm doing what I want to do until it's too late. Show us a message for Cancer. Show us more on this four of wands. It may be too late already. And that is the truth. Ace of Swords. Oof. Someone is speaking the truth here. Oh my goodness. Show us a message for Cancer. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone could be uh, highly confident here. Due to what they're speaking on or what they have said or there. So there's a tower here. What is this tower about? Six of Swords. Something coming back around. Six of Swords in reverse. Something coming back around. What's done in the dark comes to light. Show us more of the Six of Swords in reverse in the tower. Nine of Swords. Someone is someone is coming out of okay, so some something is being relieved. Someone is being relieved here. So, whatever this karma is, it's coming back on this person, okay? And you're being relieved from any stress and anguish, anxiety, 
or this person is. Take it however it resonates. Show us more on the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. For Cancer, Seven of Swords cut five with the Two of Wands. Mm. Someone trying to figure out another plan or how they can trick someone or be malicious, how they can get over on someone. Oh my God, someone, someone really wanted bad. Show us more on a chariot. Chariot in reverse. The chariot in reverse, spirit. Chariot in reverse is clarified with the page of cups. Someone is definitely being childish. Someone is refusing to move forward. Someone is refusing to grow. Someone is refusing to ascend. Someone is staying in this childlike mentality. Page of cups. Um, some of you, you could possibly have a child, uh, water sign cancer. Or this is someone you have you have a child with a cancer or something like that. Show us more with the page of cups. Page of Cups. Whoa. Someone is a healer. Someone is a star seed here. Page of Cups with a star and the, the temperance. Yeah. Someone is um a star seed. And someone someone is refusing to let this person go because of this or refusing to let you go. There's a lot of healing coming in here. Maybe a child could be healing you. This or or a situation of family family. Someone have a passion new beginning, uh, with the family or will be having a family with someone. Okay, yeah we we have a family we have a baby a new, newborn baby we have a dog okay. What is this? Show us more. With this ten of uh, pentacles, son. Okay, the child will be born. Show us more on this energy. Three of Wands. Mm. It's like someone is gaining clarity on a plan here. A plan gone wrong. Four of Wands in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse here. Four of Wands in reverse came out twice in your reading. Someone is someone is some someone's foundation is just is not working out how they planned it to be or a marriage maybe someone planned to marry you or you plan to marry this person six of wands could be an aries or a leo um six of wands four of wands three of wands and then the sun here all right uh someone received victory due to causing uh, a disruption to a marriage or causing a marriage to, or a, a, a disruption to someone's home, their foundation, if it's not pertaining to a marriage. For a lot of you, this is a marriage, all right? And this Queen of Wands, or Aries in particular, could have caused this Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But this feminine energy could have caused some disruption to a marriage or a foundation, all right? But, and, and they were successful at it, but... Or this could be a Pisces can or Cancer. It could be a Cancer or a Taurus. But the fight is over, okay? Um, there's no more competition or... Yeah. Yeah, someone is walking away quietly. So they may not be saying, okay, I'm done fighting or I'm done doing this. It's like someone is just like... Yeah, I think it's my time. I'm going to walk away now. <laughs> All right, so this could be what's going on. So someone could be leaving, walking away. It's because they were tricks or they were trying to trick you or do something wrong. It could be this King of Wands or Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, strong fire signs in your message. Sagittarius in particular. Eight of Pentacles, someone was working hard on it. Sabotaging your foundation, um, your union, the lovers. Yeah, but someone is reaping what they have sown. So someone has to receive some karma due to the illusion. Someone was an illusionist here. But so, yeah, someone was an illusionist. All right, seven of cups with the high priest. Yeah, okay, someone has set boundaries due to this magic being done. 
All right, someone is a it, yeah. It was betrayal. It was betrayal due to a family situation. Now someone is left out in the cold, or will be left out in the cold. Or yeah, whoever was casting these illusion, this spell work, or doing this trick, uh, doing any trickery, or this person, if it wasn't like actual spell work, this person was um, pretty much uh, pretending. So they can get what they want out of you. Whatever this illusion is, it's, it's, it's falling. Where either you're seeing this or someone see it. And someone is like, oh shoot, let me go before I get caught. But someone is already caught. The high ups caught someone. <laughs> so yeah, something, someone trying to dodge a bullet. But it have already transpired. It already transformed and it's about to hit them. So whoever tried to cause some upheavals to you to your foundation your connection let's see more or if you did this to someone someone is going to read what they have shown okay show us a message for cancer someone is very intuitive and they know this okay Um, it could be a Virgo that is in awareness of what is going on or what has happened. Or there could be a spirit here <coughs> that's assisting you on the other side. There could be a Virgo or a Pisces. Tell us a message for Cancer. Someone's grandfather. Show us a message for Cancer. Wow, I told you. Mask. Not showing true feelings, hide, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Yes, yeah, someone was wearing a mask here. So someone is trying to get out of the house because they realize that mask is falling. The truth is coming out or the truth has came out and someone see them for who they are. Show us more. <clears throat> you see this person as a trickster or this person see you as a trickster. Show us more on this energy. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Like I said, someone is having a hard time with letting go. Someone needs to move on. Someone is moving on. Someone is having a hard time with letting them go. Or you're having a hard time with letting them go. Or they're having a hard time with letting you go. One or the other. The golden mirror. Self-absorbed. Absorbed. Narcissist. One-sided relationship. Love bombing. Yeah, it was one-sided. Okay? Someone did not really love someone. It was just all a facade. Okay? Narcissist again, remember? So someone is a true narcissist and they're not yeah, their their masks have fallen though. Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Yeah, someone is very persistent on being a trickster. Okay. But we have the Grand Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Absolutely. All right. Um, kisses unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. That was all a facade. Okay. Clearly it says that. So someone, <coughs> that tower is falling. The foundation is falling. Someone's mass is falling. Okay. You see this person for who they are. Like, man, you really wasn't here for me or you didn't love me or you didn't. Cause if you did, you know, you're starting to see this or you're realizing like whatever this person was trying to do or gain out of you. <sighs> Anyways, this person mask have fallen. Okay. The sun is shining. The sun is shining. There's clarity, a, a lot of clarity upon this situation with the sun and the ace of swords coming out in this reading. Someone is receiving karma. And that's just what it is. And their karma, they're trying to run from it. <laughs> but it don't look like uh, that's going to work. Some, something is being returned to them. Whatever they sent out is being dished back. It's just what it is. And that's just how it works. All right. But let's move on to the next. Um, moving on to Scorpio. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If this is at all your message. All right. Many blessings. Hey, Scorpio. Thank you for tuning in for this message. Let's see what spirit wanna say. That's a message for a Scorpio. <clears throat> Scorpio. 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 Alright, let's see. Here we 
Michelle with some message for Scorpio. Sun will rise in Venus next month. Please show us a message for Scorpio. 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 Alright. And what else? Scorpio. the universe will tell the universe exactly what you want and we have guardian a lost loved one watches over you and one more and pregnancy someone is expecting all right now for some of you this may not be an actual pregnancy this could be um this could be um a, a new beginning this could be an um something new that's growing whether this is pertaining to you transforming this could be a business this could be many different things okay but let's tap into this message for some of you it is a pregnancy okay all right spare free show us a message for scorpio pertaining to this energy um, Scorpio. Maybe someone around you could be expecting. Maybe um, you could have a grandchild. Um, one of your children could be pregnant. Um, one of your relatives. But there's a baby or pregnancy here. Um, or this could be a friend. Someone is this. Someone is expecting. Not necessarily Scorpio. But for some of you, Scorpio, you are. Show us a message for Scorpio. 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 Alright, Scorpio. We have the King of Swords here. Okay, some of you could be dealing with the air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Someone is wanting to communicate with you, talk to you, possibly even apologize to you. What is this about, Spirit? Show us more. King of Wands, you have a, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so you have two masculines here. Aries, you got two people that want to talk to you, Scorpio. Show us more on this energy for Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, um, that's a lot. Okay, Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and Chariot. So there could be some type of, um, or it was some type of competition or back and forth energy between you and someone. Um, this could be pertaining to finances. Um, someone is regretting not balancing out things with you. Someone is regretting, um, yeah, not finding a balance with you. Someone is regretting having any type of comp placing you in competition. Um, yeah. Someone is, is is being left with no choice but to move on, move forward. Some of you could be dealing with the cancer, with the chariot. All right, let's get more. Show us more, Spirit, for Scorpio. more for Scorpio. Scorpio energy. Someone may want to apologize to you about a child, about a pregnancy. All right, so this could be um, someone that you ended things with. The cycle has have already closed with this world here. Show us more on this energy. Now, this could be someone at a distance from you. Queen of Rods. Okay, so we have the king and queen of rods here. So it looks like you or someone could be, um, you could compliment each other. You're both attractive. You're both, um, play a leadership role or you're both, um, just hold high positions in your job. Yeah, leadership role or, or maybe you're on your own business or you're just, um, very confident, but, yeah. Show us more on this energy spirit. 
for Scorpio. Show us more on this energy for Scorpio. Someone could be in a same sex relationship as well. King of Cups and Reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Masculine, Male Energy. Yeah, you got three kings here, Scorpio. Someone could be confused about their sexuality. Someone is still trying to figure themselves out. Um, and then you yeah, have someone could be emotionally unavailable here. Someone is just a waste of time. They're not expressing themselves. They're not really opening up to you. Um, I don't know. Someone could switch on and switch off. Like they could have, the, like one minute they, they seem loving, next minute they're cold and distant. You're like, what the hell? Okay. I don't know. Dang. Yeah, someone could be very defensive or blocking off. Like, mm. yeah, someone may feel betrayed. Because someone just moved on. Someone doesn't want to heal this with you, though. Someone feel like they were deceived out of a commitment with you. It could be a Gemini or an Aquarius. Yeah, someone is wanting to change this. Okay, let's see more. Let's figure out all these darn kings, okay? Now, if you are the king here, you could be the king. Maybe you're dealing with a, fe a female that have masculine energy, you know. Um, they could look feminine, but they could still have masculine energy. Like, you know, they could be their own boss. They could be a leader somehow, somewhat. You know, very confident, spoken up, or they sp they speak up. Oh, speak up, okay. But um, that doesn't mean that they're, you know, not feminine. It's just that they... They could be very headstrong, a strong individual, okay? But um, now, for some of you, you could be in a same-sex relationship and could have gotten a female pregnant as well. And someone is not too happy about this or you feel like this person won't be happy about the news that you have to share. Or this is how someone feel about you. And this could be why someone ghosted you or blocks someone, someone blocks someone, ghosted someone, possibly due to a child, having a child with someone else. Okay. So say for instance, this is a same-sex relationship. Please take it however it resonates. This is not everyone's story. Um, but it's not this is not based on only same-sex relationship. But I must give this message. But this is a same if it, if this is a same-sex relationship, someone could have got cold and distant because they found out that they were having a child with a, fem a female okay so i'm getting like two men connected they was you know working on a connection and relationship but found out that someone was pregnant so someone got cold and distant that's someone's situation if you're wondering why this person just stopped talking to you why they got close to you or this is why okay it could be pretending to a child um now, for some of you, uh, hmm, for some of you, this could have been a situation where um, this person, you could have been in a relationship, female Scorpio, you could have been in a relationship with someone who was not sure about their sexuality, they could have hid this, or wasn't upfront with you about, you know, dealing with the same sex, and maybe they got you pregnant. And after getting you pregnant, this got them so confused and they could have caused, you know, became distant towards you because of this. Instead of, um, you know, expressing themselves to you and telling you the truth. But it looked like now someone is wanting to communicate. That's another message for someone. But now, um, let's tap in and see another message. Okay. Cause we got a lot of people here. A lot of people you got uh three men one okay you have three masculines one feminine and one child or someone one of these adults that's acting like a child one or the other 
All right, but let's see more on this King of Swords. King of Swords, Spirit, King of Swords. Whoa. King of Swords could be uh, an air sign, apparently, but the Page of Swords came out as well. This is someone that ghosted you, um, could have held back from you, and it could be because of a child. Show us more on the King of Swords, but they want to speak up. They're ready to talk. Show us more on the King of Swords. King of Swords. Whoa. King of Swords, yeah, they want to return. Six of Cups, they want to return. So they want to come back around. They want to talk to you. Show us more on the Six of Cups. And tell you some things, possibly about a baby mother. Or about a pregnancy, about a child. Show us more with this empress. Or maybe even about a mother. Okay? This person may want to return and tell you that they want to have a child with you. They want to have a baby with you. They want to work on making you their baby mother. Okay? What? Or they just want to work on a connection with you. Okay? So show us more. So that's the King of Swords, or you're the King of Swords, and you're in this energy, masculine Scorpio. You want to return to someone from your past, a baby mother, and work on it with them. Not necessarily meaning that you want to be with them. You just want to work on a connection with them, okay? For the sake of your child or children. I get it. Um, you just want someone to be open and honest, or you want to be straight up with this person. Um, now, for some of you, you may want to work on a relationship with this person. Take it however it resonates. Or female, Scorpio, this is this masculine that's want to come back around and work on things with you. Or just work on a connection with you as you being their child's mother. Okay. Um, show us more with the King of Rods. For Scorpio, King of Rods. King of Rods, clarify with the King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this King of Rods is the King of Cups. All right. So this person could be... Um, yeah. Um, this person could be very much so in their emotions for you, but they kind of hide it very well due to their ego, their pride. Show us more on this energy. Or it, could be, it could be a... Um, it could be a, 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 a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with water placements or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio with fire placements. Strong Pisces energy with this high priestess here. Show us more on this energy with the high priestess. Knight of Pentacles. It's like this person is wanting to approach you, but they could be very slow to their approach because they're they're trying to approach you with the perfect words to say or they want to make sure everything is right. or Yeah, they're very cautious on how they approach you. Show us more with the King of Cups in reverse. King of Cups in reverse or this is you in this energy, Scorpio male. Ace of Swords. So the King of Swords. King of Cups in reverse could be very unemotionally attached. Like someone is, someone removed their emotions and want to just talk. Like someone is like, <clears throat> yeah, or needing to talk. But this person could be very cold, very cold, cold hearted, um, unsympathetic. Like they don't have any sympathy to you or to what you got to say. Like this person, or this could be you towards someone. Especially if you're male or masculine. Um, I don't know. But someone is uh, very cold. Very cold with how they how they come off towards you or you towards them. Show us more with this Queen of Rods. Queen of Rods. Whoa. Queen of Rods is clarified with the Page of Cups in reverse. So someone could have either... Yeah, whoever this Queen of Rods is, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they could be very immature. They act on emotions and they could be very, um, very, yeah, very immature, very pouty, very temper temperamental. Like this person could, um, yeah, have temper tantrums. Yep, that's what I'm getting. The Fairy of 
famous temper tantrums because someone don't want a family with them. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh. So this could be the energy of you, Scorpio. You're like, nah, I don't want a family with you. I don't want to be with you. And this feminine energy of female could be having a fit. Or if you're female, Scorpio, you could be in the energy of this King of Cups in reverse. You're cold. You're not wanting to. You spoke your truth. You said what you needed to say. And you told this person how you feel. You don't want to be with them. And they're having a fit. Oh, Lord. This is, or this is one of these masculines that's wanting to come towards you. Work things out with you, but whoever they were dealing with or had a child with is having a temper tantrum and want to um, cause a massive destruction, I'm hearing. I literally just heard. Massive destruction. <laughs> All right, so show us more on the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Cups in reverse on this Queen of Wands. Oh, okay. Yeah, someone is being set free here. So maybe whoever this... <laughs> Queen of Wands is, whoever this energy is who was having a temper tantrum, um, due to someone not wanting them or wanting to deal with them in their temperamental ways, uh, someone is setting herself free from this person. So whoever this is is setting themselves free, they want to come towards you. So someone is, someone will be messaging you. I feel like for some of you, this is the person that they want to let go of. All right, they want to tell you like I've been dealing with this person for the past seven months or the past seven years, and this and that. Like I don't know what the heck. It's like this person is wanting to tell you something so they don't want, so you won't deal with them or don't want to deal with them. All right, but yeah, it looks like Scorpio, you're gonna have some money coming in as well. Yeah, big time. You got money coming in. All right, this is your stable. Someone, someone could be trying to block you, um, block you from receiving money, finances, or whatever. But this tower is hitting. Um, this tower is hitting this person from trying to block you financially, so their money is just going to be blocked. But their stability is just going to be blocked. Yeah. It looked like someone is walking away or choosing to walk away. From this uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone is in awareness of what this person was doing or is trying to do. All right, Scorpio. So it just seemed like you just got several people in your energy trying to tap in. Like, am I it yet? <laughs> Dang. Can I get a chance? Can I? Am I it yet? Can I? Can I? Can I at least talk to Scorpio? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh yeah, Scorpio. I don't know. Do you have room? Do you have room to add this person to your calendar? Cause boy. <laughs> I don't know. Or these people. Cause it's it's several people that's trying to connect to your energy. It's people that's wanting to talk, wanting to tell you some truth. Some someone is wanting to apologize to you. Someone is wanting just to work things out with you. And then you have this feminine energy, this or this, or yeah, however this is, or you have someone else that's wanting to tell you whatever it is, so you won't deal with someone. What the heck? But you're coming out of the cold with the five of pentacles in reverse. So if you had any finance, financial setbacks or anything like that, you are coming out of the cold or you already have. Anything else? Let's get a message here for Scorpio. So maybe this someone is expecting could be someone else, Scorpio. And that's the person that's want to blob, just want to gossip. I want to blabber, blabber at the mouth and tell you, yeah, he got me pregnant. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> you want a cookie, okay? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, childish, okay? So what is childish? Show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. X. All right, you about to X someone out your life, which is this X. 
All right. So we have breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent, treatment, abandonment. Yeah. You're abandoning this. You're releasing this. You're setting boundaries here because you're ready for happiness. All right. You have happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Okay. And what else? Up oh, mask. Okay. Someone's mask. All right. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Not showing true feelings. High, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Okay. What is this about? Show us more on this energy. That came, mask came out in cancer um, reading. We have girl talk. Time with friends. Moving on. Happily single. Living in the moment. Having fun. Um, This could be you. But I feel like and that's what I was getting. Thank you, Spirit. Because the girl talk came up in reverse. Maybe, you know, time with friends, moving on, happily single. I feel like not so really happy single, but you're like, you know, it is what it is. I'd rather be single than to just deal with anybody. All right? Than to deal with anyone. Living in the moment, having fun. Okay? You're living in the moment. Yeah. Having fun as much as you can. But in the meantime, in between time, you're healing your heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. Mm-hmm. Some of you will be uh, leveling up due to a commitment, a relationship. We have engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So, yeah, you will be leveling up in a, in a commitment, in a relationship, if you haven't already. Um, but, yeah, it's time to release this person with the mask, this ex- it's time to X them out. All right. Bye. All right. So that is it for you, Scorpio. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, many blessings. Moving on to Pisces. Hey Pisces, thank you for tuning in for this message. Please take whatever resonate and leave whatever don't. Um, let's tune in to your message. Let's see what's going on for you, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Okay. Well then, dear Pisces, I see what's going on here. It's super clear. So there's a divorce. Because it was love spells being done. So you're moving. What well, ain't? Alright, if it's not a divorce, it's a, you're experiencing a breakup. Okay, a love spell, you've been bewitched. Someone is moving. Change your residence, moving in with your partner. Okay, so, uh, oof, yeah. And they want to let you know that uh, they'll be back. Someone, someone that you could be thinking of or someone that's thinking of you, they'll be back. So, okay. So, maybe you're moving on from this divorce, from this separation. You were separating from someone, a relationship, a divorce, however this is. Um, they're saying they'll be back. I feel like this, they'll be back with this intimacy could be someone that you have been intimate with, or it was a lot of passion between you and this person. But due to this situation, love spells being done due to a marriage, a partnership, or someone you resided with, something like that, that could have got in between this situation. All right. But due to you moving on and it says change of residence, moving in with your partner. So moving in with your partner, with they'll be back. Either they'll be back, you're returning to this person, or they're returning to you with this intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscent. This could be with a water sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. All right, vacation. All right, they're saying be patient. All right, are we rhyming here? <laughs> All right, you you could be distancing yourself from an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Because they're a gold digger. Someone was a gold digger. Someone only wanted your money or only wanted to... Yeah, dang. They wanted you to use you. They were just using you. Or this is what you were doing to this air sign. Take it however it resonates. Alright, let's see more on this energy, spirit. Dang, Pisces. Spirit, please show us a message for Pisces. I feel like kind of, sort of, some of this came out in your last reading. If I'm not 
mistaken, unless I, unless I got this confused with the daily. And the dailies are for members only. All right, show us a message for Pisces. Pisces. Yeah, someone was definitely uh, very deceptive here with the Seven of Swords showing. Show us a message. Could have been you. If you are the masculine or the masculine Pisces, you could have been deceived. Show us a message for Pisces. Yeah, you're gaining clarity about this. Ooh Someone that got, got here. Oh my gosh. Why do people have to be so deceptive, man? Show us a message for Pisces. Pisces, all right. We have the Emperor here. Show us more on this energy. Someone could have stole your money. I'm kidding. Show us a message for Pisces. Four of Cups in reverse. Dang, and it's like you can't get it back. This could be a business pertaining to a business. You could be a business owner, or you could be in a high leadership role, or you're yeah, you're standing in control and power here. Four of Cups in reverse. I feel like you're releasing something. You're not giving it another try, another go around. I mean, you made up your mind. It's like uh, you're disgusted. <clears throat> Show us a message for Pisces. Yeah. Yeah, you you could have let your boundaries down with this person because you trusted them. And you didn't expect this out of them. So this is why you're feeling disgusted. Okay? You're like, yeah. All right, so I don't know. You could be the, the 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 masculine here, or if you're feminine, this could be um, you in this energy of the emperor. Okay, you could be male or female as the emperor. Um, someone who who play a very big role, important role here. All right, but um, dang, this nine of wands here in reverse is really giving me like damn. It's like you feeling real defeated here. Show us more on this energy spirit for Pisces. Show us more on this energy for Pisces. Pisces. This could be pertaining to a father, father figure. Show us more on this energy for Pisces. Pisces, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right, so this is you, your energy here. Show us more on this energy. Three of Swords in reverse. So you're coming out of this heartbreak. You already healed or you're, you're, no, I feel like you're healing still, okay? You could say you're healed all day long, but you're still healing. I mean, we all are in some way, somewhat, or pertaining, if you're not healing from this situation, you're healing for something. You're still working on self. Um, so let's see more. But for you, this is pertaining to this situation. You're still healing. Show us more on this energy for Pisces. I told you, the seven of swords. <sighs> yeah, someone definitely plays you. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, someone was a dark witch. Someone was definitely... And their low vibe energy here. Someone could have been drinking a lot. Uh, someone could have been um, overindulging in dark activities with this high priestess in reverse and the devil. Mm -hmm. But it looked like this person tricks is being put to rest. The game is over. Someone is being defeated from this fight. This battle, this war is done with. It's not continuing. Well, yeah, because you gain clarity or you will be gaining clarity or this person gained clarity. Show us more on the Seven of Swords here. Seven of Swords for Pisces. Seven of Swords. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <sighs> Seven of Swords. Oh, my gosh. The Empress in Reverse. The King of Cups in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. So you're not dealing with this person anymore. Some of you could have been dealing with a Libra or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male, or a Libra, female. 
Okay, take it however it resonates. Or you're the Pisces Cancer Scorpio male. You're, I mean, you're the Pisces male. And you could have been dealing with the Libra female. With this Empress here. Or Taurus um, female. But it's in reverse, okay? Yeah, someone is not working on this anymore. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's, it's just a no-go. Someone is like, I can't do this anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. Now you're setting your boundaries and you're realizing that you need to keep these boundaries set. All right. You could be doing this secretly. You could be making se separate bank accounts, um, trying to handle your money in a, a secret manner. You don't want this person to know what you got going on, how you're doing this, how you're going about this, because they're, this person is very sneaky. You realize this. You can't trust them or they can't trust you. Nine of, nine of four is in reverse. This is, this is relieving any stress and anxiety by you setting boundaries and protecting what's yours. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this person left you broke. This person, say for instance, you had 50000 This person left only five. They left you 5000 Or someone, I'm getting like someone snuck away or didn't tell you. Like... You had to find out the hard way. Like you checked your bank account one day. And you're like, wait a minute. What the heck? Ooh, that's a low blow. Like, dang. Oh, my God. Someone someone could have um, or got a call, unexpected call or, or message. Like, your account has been declined. Or your car. Wait a minute, please. So you, you could have been trying to make a business transaction or something and it been declined. And you're like, wait a minute. I got like 50000 on there. How the heck that? Or I got 100000 on there. How the heck? Oh, dang. Someone got you for your money. I'm sorry if that has happened. Um, and someone could be in a Five of Pentacles now. Yeah, someone could have been in a, in, a, in a connection for the wrong reasons. Not for love. Mm-hmm. We have the emperor here, the current, we have judgment, and then the king of swords. Yeah, so someone been investigated, um, this emperor could have, or this business owner, or this is you, okay? Or there's some type of legal situation that's happening now. And this is going to be someone's karma. Show us more with the king of swords. Someone is taking someone to court. Show us more with this king of swords and walking away. So this court situation is the divorce. Some of you, you taking this person to court due to your money. It's kind of, it's a hard situation if you're married and you're trying to take them to court due to this money situation. But, I mean, there's ways to go about it. You know, you just got to make sure you you know you you got to have knowledge on this type of stuff. Or you got to have a good attorney, one or the other. But, um, someone is like, man, I'm gone. I can't do this anymore. Someone is walking away, six of swords from this marriage, from this home. Yeah, someone could be moving towards a new home. Someone could be getting a new home. Someone is walking away, moving away. And someone could be going towards a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone who is a better fit, a better match for them or for you. <clears throat> or you could be leaving a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio to go towards. No, this is new love. See? Aww. Some of you are going to be coming into new love with this person. And possibly a marriage or a union. I know you're like, hell no, I don't know. I don't want to get married again after what this person done did to me. <laughs> I get it. But if it's the right marriage, the right one, it's going to be right. And you're going to be happy that you do. So don't don't let the past situation interfere with what's meant for you. That situation you had to go through, you know. But th don't let this discourage you or interfere with new love. You're like, nah, I could have new love, have a passion new beginning, but I ain't got to marry you. Um, I get that. But what if you and this person are meant to be married, meant to be together um, in that way? So, I mean, you know, it would happen, right? So no pressure, no pressure. But this is just a thought. So so you won't um, block your blessings, okay? All right. So, yeah, you definitely have a passion new beginning. I feel like something is about to happen quickly. 
um, you have an angel that's assisting you in a situation. All right, so let's see more. Mm. Well, this dirt bag definitely about to get it. I was wrong on their part. They was someone was greedy, just greedy. That's what this was. They were greedy. Show us a message for Pisces. Some of you could have been dealing with another Pisces. Strong water here. Show us a message for. All right, girl with the snake. Empath and narcissist being charmed or used enable boundaries. Yes, and that's what I was saying. Like in the beginning, maybe you didn't have your boundaries up because you trusted this person, right? You trusted them with your money, you trusted them with your bank account, you trusted them because this was your spouse, this was your lover, this was your your other half, or you thought was your other half, but it they wasn't really equally yoked. It wasn't together. It wasn't meant to be. <laughs> but now you see, this person was a snake. They were not to be trusted or, you know, this is, it don't have to be a girl. It could be a guy with a snake, a guy with a snake, okay? Take it however it resonates. I hear you, man. No, it was a girl. <laughs> okay, I get it. But for some of my ladies here, ladies Pisces, it's, it could be a man, okay? Or it could been a, it could have been a girl too. It could have been the other girl. I don't know. But no, this is a union, a, a relationship, a marriage, a connection where someone did not, someone was in it for all the wrong reasons. Show us a message for Pisces. We have boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Someone could have closure issues though. You need to move on because you have better coming, all right? And the reason why you're having closure issues is because of outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Like, oh my God, I can't believe this person did this. Oh my God, they did this. Oh. It's like you replaying it over and over. No, you're going to have to let go of this. It's like you could be keeping yourself busy, going throughout your day, not thinking about it. And then as soon as you get home, you take a shower, you relax, you lay in bed, you're like, Nope. Tune it out. Change the channel. Change the channel. We not gonna think about that because what 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 happened? What happened was this person snaked you. This person betrayed you. This person did you wrong and dirty. But they're not gonna have a chance to do it again. Why? Because you're moving on. And also, this person was doing love magic, doing some spell work on you. To, that's how you are in this fog, in this illusion, this confusion about what they were doing. You not sleep. Not if you're here and you stay this long, you in this channel, you watching this, this message. You not sleep. You woke up. Something woke you up now. You could be still going through your awakening up transition here, but you waking up and you're you're awakened now enough to see that love spells are real. Uh spell work is real. Okay? Black magic is real. Say it however you could believe it, how whatever you think and however you feel. But when you when you're closed off to it, yeah, that's not gonna work. But as soon as you open your mind to it, you realize like, oh, that is possible. It won't have power over you. So, show us a message for Pisces. Pisces. All right, healing hearts. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. Absolutely. And that is what's happening. Let's just get one more for my Pisces here. Pisces. Date in reverse. Okay. We have meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. You're like, you're kind of iffy on that because of what you went through with this person. But guess what? You're going to and you possibly can go into a wedding, a marriage. You may just ask this person to marry you, okay? Or this person may just ask you to marry them. It may not even be a big wedding. This is just you realize that this is this is it. This this needed to happen for you to move into the real connection. 
And that, that happens sometimes. Some, they get blessed the first go around. Some, it take the second go around. Sometimes the third go around. However it is. But it's, it's, it's happening. It looks like it's happening for you. You're going into a new love situation. A wedding. A marriage. This is clearly what this is saying. Okay? Ace of Cups. Queen of Cups with the Four of Wands. Wedding rings. A marriage. Okay? A union. Wedding. Mary. Soul connection. Eternal love. Everlasting promise. This is what you wanted out of this situation. But this was all a front. That was for play play. That wasn't real. That wasn't real. That was a, a spell. <laughs> it wasn't real. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like you learn. You lived and you learn and now you know. But just do not set those boundaries high, too, too high where you're missing out on what spirit is trying to give to you. What's meant for you, okay? You're going to you're gonna feel it. You're going to see it. You're going to know it. You may have already encountered this this other half of you. You may have already encounter, encountered this, this real love. For some of you, you have. And some of you, you haven't. If you have, you're not in union. You're going to be because this has to be wrapped up first. Spirit is not allowing that connection. So something had to, yeah, something had to give in order for something to reconnect or for some of you, for you to come into the right connection with this person for the first time. All right, but that's all I have for you, Pisces. I hope you all enjoyed or received some type of clarity upon your situation. Um... I know that's right. Never again. I hear you, Pisces. Never again. Nope, it won't. Mm -mm. Not with these blessings coming out. It look like you're going in the right union. But uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, many blessings.